click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Logic Guess. So today we are going to see the NOT gate. So we are going to see the different types of Boolean equations of the NOT gate. Then we are going to see the truth table of the NOT gate and what are the condition or what are the cases under the NOT gate. So let's start with the today's video. So now let's see the NOT gate. Till now we have seen the different types of gates. So in the gates we have seen there are always the two inputs or many more than two inputs. But here in the NOT gate we have only one input. So let's see how this one input will get converted into the output. Now this gate is always have the single input gate because we have here, you can see here, this is, there is only one input and only one output and this gate inverts the input in the output. Therefore it is known as an inverter. Now why it is known as an inverter? Just because whatever input we gave, the not gate will give you the opposite of that input. Like suppose here, if we give the zero input, the not gate will give us the output as one. And suppose if we are giving the one input, the not gate will give you the output as zero. Okay. Now the, in the logic case, the main part is what is your logic behind that gate means for which input you will get the correct output. So now let's see the logic behind the NOT gate. So what logic of NOT gate says, if A is true, then Y is false. And if A is false, then Y is true. Now suppose we have the A as the input and Y as the output. Now consider A as 0, that is the input we are given is 0. Now 0 means consider the false value. Now, if we are giving the input as a 0, what we will get as an output? Because in the NOT gate, it performs as an inverter, we will get the opposite output. Therefore, opposite of the 0 is 1. Therefore, here at the output, we will get the value as 1. But if we consider the terms as true and false, if the, out, if the input is false, then the output will be true. In the opposite of the input may be always the output. Now consider the second condition. In the second case, we have the input as 1. Now suppose the input is 1. Now for the 1 input, what will be the opposite value of the 1? Now you all know that the opposite value of 1 is 0. Therefore the output will be 0. Suppose the 1 is true value, then output will be a false value. So this is what the logic says. If A is true, that if A is true, then output Y will be false. And if A is false, the output Y will be true. So this is the overall scenario for the NOT gate. This is your symbol for the NOT gate. Here, always remember, you can't give the two input to the NOT gate. Because NOT gate is the single input, single output gate. Here, we don't have more than one input. And simply, here, just A as an input and Y as an output. And in the truth table also, there are only two conditions. Why two conditions? Because here, we have only one input. So 2 raised to 1 will give us 2. Therefore, here only two cases are present in the truth table also. Now, let's see the Boolean equation for the NOT gate and also how it is represented in the electrical circuit. So that we will have clear idea to apply it for the applications. Now, let's understand the Boolean equation for the NOT gate. The y is the output. The y is equal to a bar. Okay, y equal to a bar. Now here, the bar represents the inversion. Bar means this sign. Okay, so bar, this sign is the bar. So bar represents here the inversion. So we will get the inverted value of a at the output. Now let's consider the simple electrical circuit. Because the applications of the not gate we are going to apply in the electronic circuits, in the digital circuits, okay? So therefore, it is very important to understand its application using the simple electronic circuit. So now let's start with the application and explanation with the simple electronic circuit. Here, we have an LED, we have a resistor and the voltage source. This, this is a DC voltage source. Now your switch is connected. This switch you can consider as an input of the not gate. Now suppose this is our gate, okay? So this A is our input and here we are observing the output of LED. So that means if the switch is closed, switch is closed means the switch is, is connected over here, right? 
that means which is closed when the switch is closed the cathode and the anode of the led will get shorted and the led won't be formed by us. therefore at this condition led will be turned off okay now suppose i will draw the simplified diagram of this over here The LED is shorted. Therefore, the LED will not get connected at the output. Therefore, when the switch is closed, we have LED off. Now, let's consider the second condition where we have switch that is A condition as an open. When switch A is open, the LED is connected across the source and also at the resistor. So, this path is yet completed. Therefore, when the switch is open, the LED is on. Means here we are getting an opposite scenario. When the switch is closed, we are getting the output as the LED is off. And when the switch is open, we are getting the output as the LED on. So this is the simple circuit using which we can understand the operation of the NOT gate. The so NOT gate is very simple. Here you don't have many inputs. Here you just have the one input. So the points to be remembered while studying the NOT gate or while performing the operations related to NOT gate is NOT gate is also known as an inverter. Whatever the input is there, we will always get an opposite output. And the NOT gate is simply represented by a single input and single output symbol. Thank you friends for watching today's video. In today's video, we have seen the NOT gate and the Boolean equation truth table for the NOT gate. So different kind of gate and their equations and their Boolean equations also they are simple kind of circuits. We will see in the next video. So stay tuned to Ikeda channel and don't forget to subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.